I'm so ashamed. I am supposed to be a hero of the Genova War. But look at me. Don't take all the blame. Reeve. Huh? You're not thinking of giving up, are you? I used to be nothing but a stone in the river of time. But three years ago, it was you and the others who taught me I had to move ahead. Vincent. They say she won't wake up. She suffered too much trauma to her head. Unless there's some kind of a miracle, she's... She's not... She was a fool. You have no right to call her that! You don't know! You don't know what- Why? Why would she do something so- she was searching for. She answered, her reason to live. It was you, Shulk. You were her reason to live. So? I don't understand how someone could give her own life for that of another. Do you understand, Vincent Valentine? Mm. I can't answer for your sister. But... But? When a person has someone they care about that much, giving their life is sometimes the least they can do. Maybe, that's what makes us human. Someone they care about. Although, it seems like there are a lot of people around me who don't need a reason to risk their lives for that of another. And are you... Vincent? Vincent? Fall asleep here, and you might catch a cold. <gasps> Why are you so surprised? Is my face that hideous? No. 
I didn't... I'm sorry. And how are you supposed to be my bodyguard, if you're up here sleeping? Uh, the warm breeze. I was... only going to rest my eyes for a minute. Hmm. Well, I have to admit, the breeze is quite comfortable. However, I think you're in my seat. Huh? <laughs> Care to join me? I'm sorry. Why are her data fragments... responding? Vincent. I agree with you. This is not the time for us to give up. But I need to know something. Those data files you recovered from Shinra Manor... Are you sure there were not any more? I'm sure. I see. What's wrong? Well... The Omega Report. The file was incomplete. To make any sense out of it, we are going to require the other half. If possible, I wanted to know more about our foe before we launched the attack on Midgar. Are you speaking of Dr. Lucrezia Crescent's findings? <laughs> yes, but how did you... A large quantity of her mnemonic data fragments has been uploaded into my neural network. It was my prime directive to use this data to locate and retrieve the proto-materia. However, not only was the data incomplete, but part of her consciousness began interfering with my own thought processes. It was believed that the missing fragments may have been the reason for this. I can attempt to upload the WRO's files on the Omega Report. By combining it with the data I possess, you may obtain a clearer picture of what you will be up against. And perhaps, I can regain control of my mind. Get up and go! Come on, get on board! Approximately 95%. Communication channels radar. radar. Functioning normal. Network terminals online. Wide area scan shows no Gamma link operational. Radius. Adjusting settings 6281. Begin line test in sectors 2 Power 
We need oil on the L3 G9 friction level is up to 0.024. Operating the lower valve. Main propeller at 80%. Propeller speed up to 0.3%. Monitoring signal AJ109. All blocks clear. Main engine output normal. Now switching over Secondary to auto engine sensors. Personality check. Green. Long time! C Captain! Oh, sorry about that. As much as I'd like to sit down and reminisce about old times, you'll have to take a rain check. Why don't you have a look around my bird until the meeting? like talking much. Thanks to Shock's half of the data, I've been able to make more sense of the report. But I still require more time to piece together the fragments. I will give you all a detailed briefing at the meeting. After the assault begins, the Headquarters facilities will no longer be available. And to think, just a few days ago, I was the one who was in there. No, forget I said anything. What are you working on? I'm in the process of modifying this equipment so I can perform an SND, a synaptic net dive. Synaptic net dive? My specialty within the Sviets. While retaining consciousness, I project an image of myself into a virtual reality called a network. I can also use this ability to negotiate with data on the subconscious planes of sentient life forms. However, this often involves a great risk to my own sanity. For Shinra, the success of the SND project was crucial for their next step in... 
I'm sorry. I seem to have gotten off track. Simply put, I'm creating a personal network terminal within the airship's main control console. What? Nothing. You just remind me of your sister. and the remaining WRO squads will lead the ground assault. Well, we launch our attack from the air. Right. So, Reed, you ready? Yes. All right, take it away, Shulk. Very well. Data fragment link. Successful. Commencing synaptic net dive in three, two, one. Just as we return to the planet when our life light is faded. The planet returns to the cosmos when her time has come. <sighs> Anything that has definite shape will one day cease to exist. The same is true for this world. Before she takes her final breath, the pure life streams that flow freely beneath her crust will be brought together into one. By Omega, the ultimate life form. His purpose? To gather all life, sentient and non, and lead it into the sea of stars, where it will embark on a fabulous journey along a road untraveled. However, when Omega has lifted the life from this planet, 
All that will remain... What? ...will be an empty shell destined to die silently... ...in the limitless... ...void of space. Omega is the same type of life form as the weapons we encountered three years ago. The planet gave birth to these creatures to protect itself, just as the planet will ultimately give birth to the final weapon, Omega, when the end of the world is imminent. In essence, Omega is an elaborate safety mechanism designed solely to maintain and protect the flow of life. Normally, Omega poses no threat to us. It only manifests when the planet has detected something that may cause her danger. However, Deep Ground is attempting to awaken the beast early. Thus, the kidnapping. By slaughtering thousands of innocent souls, they are creating a pure life stream in order to trick the planet into thinking the end is near. Yeah! Why, are those conniving? I don't know what this vice character is trying, but he's crazy if he thinks we're gonna let him get away with it! Right. Omega is being revived deep beneath Midgar in Mako Reactor Zero. To increase the output of Reactor Zero, all the other reactors have been tied into its mainframe. Our objective is to destroy one through eight and slow the reanimation process. Mission details for each squad will be relayed separately. All right, we've still got some time before the big show. You got anything needs tending to do it? Vince, don't worry about the reactors. We'll take care of them. You work on those four wacko. I don't like letting you have all the fun, but... You know, I can't leave my baby here alone. Cloud and the others will be shutting down the power. And there's no way we're letting Yuffie go down there by herself. Sorry, buddy. Looks like from here on out, it's Vince versus the Sviets. We're counting on you, old pal.
tired. Vincent Valentine. What? This feeling. Is this what you meant? By doing something for someone you care about? <laughs> it seems so. Dr. Crescent's data has begun defragmenting within my mind. I can see many different images. Images she experienced with you. Interference, recovery. So, so tired. <laughs> 